So that's how it looks. Hello guys, PH here. I got this in today. It's Rush Creek Creations. It's a 24 fishing rod holder carousel. I have a lot of rods. My old thing I made, it's full and I can't fit no more. So I got this. We're going to take it out of the box. And then I'm going to see if I can assemble it. Let's see what this looks like. inside of another box. Now I could show you what looks like the real box. I thought this was the real box. I guess not. There it is. See that? Looked pretty good. I got it on Amazon. I'll leave the link for it. it says it holds 24 Spinning, no, oh no, 24 rod spinning rack. The bottom spins on it. It has the clip design. Fourteen point seven inches wide, thirty-one point five inches tall. Boy, do I need this! One time, I gotta show you guys my uh, fishing reels and rods. package this beauty oh boy styrofoam everywhere not too bad there's the center pole And that's the carousel bottom and then the top piece here Let's open it up really quick looks pretty good got the instructions looks pretty easy to put together I think it just screws together I'll do that here's the bottom carousel I like this one because it had the cutouts with the plastic sections in it let's see how she rolls see that let's see if we can put it together all right, let's see how this goes. I got the instructions right here. Looks like you don't need no tools. I got a screwdriver here, but I don't think you need it. Just screws right together with these holes here. These are aluminum or metal poles. say screw these together they look exactly the same number one yeah just like this I'm not gonna put them too tight just to try it out all right now they're saying this one here with the screw you want to screw into the bottom of the spinning unit there we go now you want to get the top unit I guess you line it up for the rod holders, the oval type one. 
Let me show you here if you guys could see that. These oval ones, you gotta match with these big open type. So you just screw that right on. I don't know if you can see this because it's kind of high, but <laughs> just thread that beauty right in. Line them up. And there you have it. Spinning rods. You could spin it and pick which one you want. Looks really nice. I'm gonna get a rod and we'll see how they snap in. All right, I got a Fenwick rod here. This is my new Eagle. This is the two piece. I brought this one out because I can't put a tall rod in. It'll hit the ceiling. So let's see how this works. Say if you wanted to put it in this one here. First you pull open this rubber tab and there you go. Works like a charm. And then if you wanted yeah, a whole bunch of rods, you spin it around to where you are. Oh, that's the rod I need. So it looks like it works pretty damn good, guys. I like it. It's going to hold my rods. I won't have to have a few laying up against the wall. All right, guys, I want to show you. What, this is most of my rods. I have a few more downstairs. So that's how it looks. And they snap in in the top. And then it spins so you could get whatever rod you want. Just like that. Let me show it from far away. Up to the ceiling. I just brought it in the room here to show you guys. Anyhow, it's really nice. I have everything filled up. You could put two rods in each one of these. So I could probably put one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Seven more. Probably one, two, three, four, five, six with reels on them maybe. And then you could double the six and put 12 just rods in there. So that's the rod holder. Hope you guys like it. I know I do. Too many rods. It's a pain in the butt when you have them laying all over. Well, there's my new rod rack, guys. It looks pretty cool. If you like the video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments below. Thanks for watching, as always. I appreciate the support. We'll see you next time. PH out.